Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and let's talk about Nightwing. Because I'm about getting sick of this bullshit. <laughs> and if you guys know, you know. Which, of course you know. Because here comes DC again, focusing on a fucking story about Nightwing's fucking ass. Like, <laughs> if y'all don't stop with this motherfucker ass, I look, look, I get it. Nightwing has an ass. We know Nightwing got an ass. Congratulations that Nightwing has an ass because he's a gymnast. I get it. We get it. We all get it. We already know that he has one of the best ass in DC comic books. We get it. But, and there's a big but with that. Stop with the fucking variant covers and stupid stories about this man's ass. Y'all won't even focus on women's asses anymore in comic books. But we got to focus on Nightwing's ass? We got to focus on Nightwing's ass. Newsflash. Newsflash. Most comic book readers are fucking straight. So why the hell are we getting so many variant covers and just dumb things focusing on Nightwing's ass? Why is there a DC comic book called Nothing But Nightwing? And it's focusing on this man's ass. The story is about, okay, Barbara Gordon Batgirl decided to break up with Nightwing because he's not interesting. He's boring. He doesn't have any hobbies or anything outside of being Nightwing. Bitch, what? Bitch, what? And it was written by, what's this person's name? Um, Patrick R. Young, DC. DC, enough, enough with these fucking loser ass writers who don't know these characters. It's not funny and it's not cute. Like, this shit would never have gotten greenlit damn near 20 years ago. Why the hell y'all doing it now? It's dumb. So, apparently, Nightwing ain't never had no successful career, apparently. So we're just going to forget about the fact that he um, was a detective, secret agent, um, gym instructor, gymnastics instructor. We're going to forget about any careers that he had in his um, free time because apparently he was a failure. He's always been a failure, and that's why Barbara Gordon left him. So now, this time around, he's, going, he's getting another job, and he's going to become an international supermodel to prove to Barbara Gordon that he he has um, a hobby outside of Nightwing. But of course, there's some criminals um, starting some bullshit while he's all on the journey of becoming a supermodel because he has the best assets. Why, might as well show him off. So now he's becoming an international supermodel. What? What? That is, okay. Oh, Lord have mercy. We got to stop hiring these gay um, fanfic writers because this shit, this shit is depressing. Like, what in God's name is this supposed to be? Who, who the hell is this shit for? This should be on, like, fanfic.net. Or, um, what's the, what's, the, what's the other one called? Um, Archive Your Own or something like that. This should not be anything professionally re-released through DC comic books at all. At all. Because it's it's really disturbing, honestly. Y'all have this weird obsession with this man's ass, and y'all been doing nothing but homo um homoerotic covers of this man's ass, but the female characters is a problem. And then on top of that, not only not only is that um not only do y'all do it in the variant covers. But y'all also do it in the comic books where y'all do focus on this man's ass a lot. But heaven forbid if you have a variant cover of Power Girl in her classic costume, you know, um, with a shot of her boobs or something like that, or you know, her ass showing off. But then we look at the comic book, she looked like she looked like a trans man. Flat chested. No ass shots, no titty shots, no, no nothing to show how sexy she is. But Nightwing, on the other hand, we can see him in all these gymnastic poses. We can see people thirsting for him and everything. It is tiring. This is this is weird. This is really disturbing, DC. I don't understand. I don't think y'all know how disturbing this shit is. 
It really is. It's disturbing as hell. What? What? Hold on. I'm so sorry. I can't even. It's it's this it's kind of weird. We get it. Dick Grayson is sexy, but do you have to make a book, a comic book, about it? That's what I want to know. You you get what I'm saying? That's what I want to know. Why is it okay for him to have this shit, but we can't focus on Starfire. We can't focus on Power Girl. We can't focus on them being that because guess what? If there was people who um was reading Starfire, if there was like nothing but Starfire and it was and it was Starfire walking sexy, wearing um revealing clothes, you know how much on um, Twitter, um Instagram and and weird weird quote unquote male feminists or quote unquote fake comic book fans would be on here talking about. I can't believe they sit up there and sexualize Starfire. She, she's more than just her her assets. But I don't see nobody talking about Nightwing. No, I, I'm seeing people praising DC for doing this. Why? Why is that? Why is that? Who do you think your audience is for? And then you get mad when people like me say something like this. And then you be like, oh, it's because we're being insecure. No, it's not about being insecure. Your target audience is straight men. It don't matter who, you know, it, it really doesn't matter. Your target audience is straight men. So why the hell is there, is there a whole goddamn thing about, oh, let me go and have a book where we focus on Nightwing becoming a male model and focus on his best assets, his ass, because he has a great ass, so he should become a supermodel, especially an underwear model, because he has great ass. Because he's boring, because he doesn't have any hobbies. That's why Batgirl Oracle broke up with him. <sighs> Jesus, take this wheel. Take this wheel for me because I I just I'm just ready to jump the fuck out the goddamn window and I'm driving right now. L Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Walk y'all black asses across this damn street. God damn it. Anyway, it's it's dumb. It is dumb. It is idiotic. It's disrespectful to Nightwing. It's objectifying him. The same thing y'all be trying to talk about the women being objectified or whatever. Because I've been seeing recently when some people been going back reading some of the old classic um, comic books. Especially um, the Birds of Prey or just anything that's female focused. The male the male reviewer will complain about the women being objectified. And I'm like, motherfuckers, you straight? The fuck? The fuck complains about the women being sexy in the damn book? There are women who are action heroin. They know they're sexy. That's the point. The fuck y'all complaining about? Never understood. I don't trust a man who complains about a woman in an action thing being sexy. You're like, why well, she gotta be all? Why she gotta? Why is there so many ass shots? Why is there? Why is there this back shot of her or whatever and stuff like that? She's more than just that. Yes. And if you and you're reading the comic book, right? You're reading the comic book, right? And she's very well developed. So what the fuck are you complaining about? How how the hell did you why why the hell would you think a woman who's an action heroine wouldn't be sexy? If they, especially if they're working out. Why wouldn't they show off their body? Why would we not want to see it? But for the man, but for, for Nightwing, y'all have no problem throwing his ass up in our faces. And I mean up in our faces. These past couple of years, it, it's been, it's been a it's been just ass from Nightwing so much it makes the it don't make the sense God gave. It it, it is nothing but Nightwing's ass. No pun intended. And all I'm saying is, if you're going to keep focusing on this homoerotic bullshit in DC comic books, then let us have it for the women, too. Shit. I, wa I want to see... And then, and then when y'all do women 
or whatever. Y'all do that lesbian shit that don't nobody care about. We don't care because first off, we don't like the damn fucking choices that y'all made with the characters. Because then you take characters who are classically straight and all of a sudden make them lesbians and then you give them some kind of trans character or some kind of manly, beefy um, woman or whatever. And, it, and I'm just like, who the fuck want to read that? Or you give them that stupid lesbian haircut, the shot, the this, this, um, shaved side right here. Like, I'm sorry. D did I ask you to, that I wanted this? No. It's not interesting. It's not cute. It is actually boring to to read and to look at. Being the artist, the art. Then you get the uh, sloppy artists who don't really do much, but they have no problem when it comes to the males focusing on their bodies. But when it comes to the female characters, oh no! The only time the female characters look good is in variant covers. But then when you open up the book, they look like hot messes. But not the guys. Not the guys. Y'all make sure the guys look good. Like it's it is baffling. It is baffling. This can't. This isn't a coincidence anymore. This isn't some being hyperbole or whatever. No, it is just. I'm tired of the agenda, honestly. And this and shit like this shouldn't exist. Shouldn't exist. That's my thoughts on the situation. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.